Hi friends, in this video, I'm gonna make a mini PLC using Arduino Nano. This PLC have 5 inputs and 4 outputs. This mini PLC can be used for many small scale projects. So without further ado, let's start this video. If you want to buy electronic components, go to utsource.net website. Here you can find a lot of different electronic components such as ICs, transistors, LEDs, resistors, capacitors and many more. Now select your desired component. Now click on add to cart. Now your component is in the shopping cart. Now click on checkout. You can do your payment with different payment methods. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, then do subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon so you can get notifications whenever I upload a new video. These are my other channels, do subscribe them as well. And you can also follow me on Facebook and Instagram. Component list, circuit diagram, everything is in the description below. So this is our Arduino Nano based mini PLC. It has 5 opto isolated inputs and 4 relay outputs with normally open contacts. This PLC works on 5 volt. If you want to use higher voltage supply, you can use voltage regulator for that. Now let's see the connections of this circuit. So these are all the components we are gonna need for this project. First, I'm gonna connect Arduino. After that, I'm gonna connect a 2 pin terminal block and connect its one pin to 5 volt pin of Arduino and its other pin to ground. After that, I'm gonna connect a BC547 transistor and connect its pin number 3 to ground. After that, I'm gonna connect a 1K resistor and connect its one pin to pin number 2 of the transistor and its other pin to pin D7 of Arduino. After that, I'm gonna connect a 5 volt relay and connect its one coil pin to positive supply and its other coil pin to pin number 1 of the transistor. After that, connect a 2 pin terminal block and connect its one pin to normally open terminal of the relay and its other pin to common terminal of the relay. After that, connect one N4148 diode and connect its cathode to positive supply and its anode to pin number 1 of the transistor. After that, connect an LED and connect its cathode to pin number 1 of the transistor. After that, connect a 100 ohm resistor and connect its one pin to positive supply and its other pin to anode of the LED. After that, I'm gonna connect a BC547 transistor and connect its pin number 3 to ground. After that, I'm gonna connect a 1K resistor and connect its one pin to pin number 2 of the transistor and its other pin to pin D8 of Arduino. After that, I'm gonna connect a 5 volt relay and connect its one coil pin to positive supply and its other coil pin to pin number 1 of the transistor. After that, connect a 2 pin terminal block and connect its one pin to normally open terminal of the relay and its other pin to common terminal of the relay. After that, connect one N4148 diode and connect its cathode to positive supply and its anode to pin number 1 of the transistor. After that, connect an LED and connect its cathode to pin number 1 of the transistor. After that, connect a 100 ohm resistor and connect its one pin to positive supply and its other pin to anode of the LED. After that, I'm gonna connect a BC547 transistor and connect its pin number 3 to ground. After that, I'm gonna connect a 1K resistor and connect its one pin to pin number 2 of the transistor and its other pin to pin D12 of Arduino. After that, I'm gonna connect a 5 volt relay and connect its one coil pin to positive supply and its other coil pin to pin number 1 of the transistor. After that, connect a 2 pin terminal block 
and connect its one pin to normally open terminal of the relay and its other pin to common terminal of the relay. After that, connect one end 4148 diode and connect its cathode to positive supply and its anode to pin number one of the transistor. After that, connect an LED and connect its cathode to pin number one of the transistor. After that, connect a 100 ohm resistor and connect its one pin to positive supply and its other pin to anode of the LED. After that, I'm gonna connect a BC547 transistor and connect its pin number 3 to ground. After that, I'm gonna connect a 1K resistor and connect its one pin to pin number 2 of the transistor and its other pin to pin D13 of Arduino. After that, I'm gonna connect a 5 volt relay and connect its one coil pin to positive supply and its other coil pin to pin number 1 of the transistor. After that, connect a 2 pin terminal block and connect its one pin to normally open terminal of the relay and its other pin to common terminal of the relay. After that, connect one N4148 diode and connect its cathode to positive supply and its anode to pin number one of the transistor. After that, connect an LED and connect its cathode to pin number one of the transistor. After that, connect a 100 ohm resistor and connect its one pin to positive supply and its other pin to anode of the LED. After that, connect a PC817 optocoupler and connect its pin number 1 to ground and its pin number 4 to positive supply. After that, connect a 1K resistor and connect its one pin to pin number 3 of the optocoupler and its other pin to pin D2 of Arduino. After that, connect a 10K resistor and connect its one pin to pin D2 of Arduino and its other pin to ground. After that, connect an LED and connect its cathode to pin number 1 of the optocoupler. After that, connect a 100 ohm resistor and connect its one pin to anode of the LED. After that, connect a two pin terminal block and connect its one pin to remaining pin of 100 ohm resistor and its other pin to ground. After that, connect a PC817 optocoupler and connect its pin number one to ground and its pin number four to positive supply. After that, connect a 1K resistor and connect its one pin to pin number three of the optocoupler and its other pin to pin D3 of Arduino. After that, connect a 10K resistor and connect its one pin to pin D3 of Arduino and its other pin to ground. After that, connect an LED and connect its cathode to pin number one of the optocoupler. After that, connect a 100 ohm resistor and connect its one pin to anode of the LED. After that, connect a two pin terminal block and connect its one pin to remaining pin of 100 ohm resistor and its other pin to ground. After that, connect a PC817 optocoupler and connect its pin number 1 to ground and its pin number 4 to positive supply. After that, connect a 1K resistor and connect its one pin to pin number 3 of the optocoupler and its other pin to pin D4 of Arduino. After that, connect a 10K resistor and connect its one pin to pin D4 of Arduino and its other pin to ground. After that, connect an LED and connect its cathode to pin number one of the optocoupler. After that, connect a 100 ohm resistor and connect its one pin to anode of the LED. After that, connect a two pin terminal block and connect its one pin to remaining pin of 100 ohm resistor and its other pin to ground. After that, connect a PC817 optocoupler and connect its pin number one to ground and its pin number four to positive supply. After that, connect a 1K resistor and connect its one pin to pin number three of the optocoupler and its other pin to pin D5 of Arduino. After that, connect a 10K resistor and connect its one pin to pin D5 of Arduino and its other pin to ground. After that, connect an LED and connect its cathode to pin number one of the optocoupler. After that, connect a 100 ohm resistor and connect its one pin to anode of the LED. After that, connect a two pin terminal block and connect its one pin to remaining pin of 100 ohm resistor and its other pin to ground. After that, connect a PC817 optocoupler and connect its pin number one to ground and its pin number four to positive supply. After that, connect a 1K resistor and connect its one pin to pin number three of the optocoupler and its other pin to pin D6 of Arduino. After that, connect a 10K resistor and connect its one pin to pin D6 of Arduino and its other pin to ground. 
After that, connect an LED and connect its cathode to pin number 1 of the optocoupler. After that, connect a 100 ohm resistor and connect its 1 pin to anode of the LED. After that, connect a 2 pin terminal block and connect its 1 pin to remaining pin of 100 ohm resistor and its other pin to ground. So we have completed all the connections. Now let's write a program for this PLC. To program it, I'm gonna use open PLC software. So this is our code. Now let's upload this code to the PLC and test it. So that's it for today's video. I hope you have enjoyed this video. For more videos like that, stay tuned and I will see you in the next video.